What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and I have the iPhone 6 with me here today in this beautiful gold color in the 16 gigabyte variant and believe it or not this phone came out over eight years ago. It's so crazy to believe that this phone is so old today but I'm going to be using this phone in 2022 showing you guys what type of things still work and what don't work after so many years. Now, I did want to quickly mention this phone is still running iOS 8 so this experience is really going to show you guys what it was like using this phone back in 2014. And yup, this was the iPhone that had the whole Bengate issue but that's another topic for another video. Let's talk about this phone. So one thing that really pops out to me is that three and a half millimeter headphone jack. It's just super cool to look back at with those white antenna lines kind of wrapping around the phone. It made the design look so beautiful and I kind of miss the whole curvy design of the iPhone 6. I kind of wish I could bring it back but they probably won't. Now the box itself was also pretty minimalistic. Of course we had that camera cutout because this was the first ever iPhone, believe it or not, to have a camera bump and nowadays iPhones have like the biggest camera bumps ever so this was tiny compared to what we have today. And the best thing ever is that this phone came fully loaded with every possible accessory that you could pretty much ask for. Of course we had the headphones which honestly is probably the most important thing that doesn't get included anymore but yeah it just kind of blows my mind that this thing was only 16 gigabytes. That is nothing compared to what phones have today so it's pretty cool to see. And you know running iOS 8 and everything, everything is just super quick as you guys can see everything is super responsive, apps open almost immediately and you know the reason why it's so fast on iOS 8 is because the iPhone 6 was optimized to run on iOS 8 so that's the software that Apple promoted when this phone first came out so it had to be fast, it had to be snappy and you know looking back at those old emojis just it, it's a really nostalgic moment for me and um, kind of being able to use everything again just feels really nice. Now one thing I don't really like about this phone is the app switcher because um, you kind of had to wait for the whole thing to stop scrolling before you could click on an app which kind of got a little annoying as you guys can see there but Overall, I absolutely love this device and I would use this device every single day if I could but one thing that obviously is limited on this device is app support and you're going to quickly notice that iOS 8 in general just doesn't have a lot of features like there's no today view, you can actually swipe down but you know it looks very basic, it looks like a lot of stuff wasn't really created back in the iOS 8 days and one thing you're going to quickly realize with the iPhone 6 is that it's actually a pretty familiar design in terms of the size of the phone. I mean, when Apple first came out with this device, it was technically the largest iPhone since the iPhone 5S. And using this device and really taking advantage of that larger 4.7 inch display just made the whole process of owning this phone so much more enjoyable. Now I did want to quickly mention, I mean, there were a lot of old features on this device as well, like this control center, which is so cool to see. You know, we don't see this at all with the newer iOS versions. Of course that lock screen, that slide to unlock is also pretty cool to see but I can't use this phone every single day because the app support is just not the same as it was 8 years ago and putting this phone side by side with my iPhone 13 Pro which is my daily driver, you know, you really realize how much uh, bigger iPhones have gotten in terms of the width and it doesn't seem like Apple is going to be slowing down these iPhones anytime soon. 